If you own a 2015 and 2018 Super Cab or Super Crew F-150 and you're looking for basically the most rugged and in my opinion some of the most badass side steps for this truck then you should be checking out the Barricade HD rocker steps with this nice textured black finish. Now I say that because out of all the options available on the product page these are definitely going to be the most well built or close to it at least. They're actually made out of a one piece welded all steel construction. The side steps themselves, the plates here are made out of eighth inch thick steel and the brackets underneath are actually made out of a quarter inch thick steel plate and then you got these really nice wide tubes here so it's safe to say that these things are very well built structurally. Now obviously the price is a little bit higher compared to some of the other options on the page but these are actually still a lot less expensive than some of the top tier brands and some of those top tier brands have a similar build quality to these ones so you're actually saving a little bit of money for going with something that's just really well built but might not have some of those crazy features like powered boards or accent lights or things like that. These also install very easily and that's generally thanks to the F-150's bolt-on design here. You already got the studs underneath and side, which I'll show you guys in a minute here. But basically, it's a simple bolt-on job with a couple of sockets and a ratchet, or obviously you can use some power tools to make it even easier if you want to. I would say you could probably get this done in about 15 to 30 minutes, and that's honestly if you're taking your time. To install your new side steps, you will need the following tools. A standard drive ratchet and a 13 millimeter deep socket. Optional but helpful tools include an air gun, and a swivel socket. All right, so if your truck came with factory running boards or side steps, obviously you have to remove those first, right? It's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is tackle the nuts that are on the factory studs. In order to do that, you're gonna need a 13 millimeter deep socket. And if you're using some air tools like me, it's helpful to have that swivel handy. So when I go to remove all of these nuts on the factory board, I'm actually gonna leave this top corner one here in place on either end. Instead, I'm gonna remove these bottom ones and these center ones. That way, since I'm doing this by myself, I can come back to this corner nut at the very end. I can let each one down by itself and I can let each corner of the factory board come down gently without the whole thing crashing down. All right, so as you saw, removing the factory running boards, pretty straightforward, right? If you were on the fence about upgrading to a new step like the barricade ones, well, it's pretty easy to see what an upgrade they are now that we got them next to each other. A couple of cool figures to throw out at you guys. The step plates themselves are actually eighth of an inch thick, whereas the mounting brackets themselves come in at about a quarter of an inch thick. So it's safe to say that these things are pretty beefy. The tubes themselves are about two and three quarter inches in diameter. And I'm actually happy to say, even though these look a lot sleeker than the factory boards, they're actually just about as wide. These guys are just shy of seven inches if you include this little lip right here. These steps come in at about six and a quarter, maybe six and a half inches. But what's nice about that is you don't have this little lip right here. So technically in my mind, you actually get a little bit more of a stepping area with these barricade steps. Obviously besides functionality, these things are a hell of a lot more rugged, right? These are made out of plastic. They're nice, they're strong, but they're not gonna stand up to some really hard hits. If you wanna take your truck off-road, I wouldn't go as far to say that these are gonna act as armor per se, but they will definitely be able to take some real abuse. And that's also thanks to the black powder coat finish on these guys. That's actually a baked on finish, it's not just paint. So this is not gonna chip unless you really throw some stuff at it, right? So overall, a pretty big improvement over the factory steps in terms of looks, function, and overall ruggedness. Now that you see the comparisons here, let's go ahead and throw these new ones on. All right, so before we throw our new running steps on, we have to do a little important step, no pun intended. We have to throw these little plastic covers over the studs. Now that might seem optional, but honestly, you really need to do that. What will happen if you don't is kind of bad. If you throw the running boards on without these plastic pieces on there, eventually the aluminum body will start to corrode at an accelerated rate. Obviously, you don't want that, so go ahead and take the time to throw these on before we install the running boards. Once you got those plastic covers in place, you can throw your running board in place. This guy is pretty heavy, so just take your time with this. Might be helpful to have a friend with you. Or if you're doing this in the driveway on the ground, you can even use a floor jack. At any rate, once you get this thing lined up on all the studs, go ahead and grab the hardware in the kit. You're gonna need nine of the flat washers and the nuts in the kit. You're gonna need that same 13 millimeter deep socket in order to get these installed and tightened down.
right, so once you got those nuts and washers bolted on, that's pretty much it. That'll wrap up the install. Go ahead and check for your tightness here, make sure nothing's loose, and crank those down further if you need to. That also wraps up my review of the Barricade HD Rocker Steps with the Texture Black Finish, Finninger 15 to 18 Super Cab and Crew F-150. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things F-150, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.